And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some burn aggro. We're going to be playing an all out Nexus deck up next. Um, this kind of deck should maybe be a little bit stronger with the nerfing of Gohard and with less people playing Gohard because the Gohard decks were really difficult to beat with these kind of very fast aggro decks. But if they're not in the format, at least, you know, not really nearly as much, this could be a lot better if people are playing Targon decks that, uh, are like a bunch of invoke cards that take a really long time to win, then uh, doing a whole bunch of Nexus damage could help get you there. I know Targon has like a couple of cards, the healer Nexus, but still um, with um, just a bunch of Nexus damage, you should be able to go underneath them. So we're, we're going to be real aggressive. We got our 8-1 drops, including Teemo. At 2, we have a new card, Ballistic Bot, that can create the Ignitions to do Nexus damage. That with the Imperial Demolitionist and Legion Grenadier. I just don't like Boom Crew Rookie. We're not playing Boom Crew Rookie in here. I just, I never feel like Boom Crew Rookie does enough. So we're not going to be playing that. Um, and three mana for our units, of course, Draven. Great champion there. But then also use Cast Salesman, reducing the health total of both players with the Caustic Casks. Also, the Caustic Casks make cards like Noxion Fervor better. Um, and then one Iron Ballistus. We get our, our seventh three drop in there. And then, um, then it's a bunch of burn spells, right? So, like, we're going to be playing those units and trying to get ahead and attacking and everything. And then a bunch of Nexus damage with Mystic Shot, Get Excited, Noxion Fervor, Aftershock, Decimate. That is so many cards that do Nexus damage. It's crazy. And they are versatile, though. We can use them as removal or, you know, uh, finishing the game out. And then for the games where we need to be a little slower, where, like, our opponents are stabilizing and stuff like that, we have two Captain Farons is this card is just simply ridiculous an 8-8 overwhelm attacker create all those decimates for you that card finishes games out so um you know it looks like a, a pretty good burn deck if if you don't you know if you want to try something a little different from like the discard aggro with jinx and draven um yeah we're gonna try you know that deck's all about like attacking this one we're gonna have lots of nexus damage so let's give it a try we'll go play our five games in ranked here we go all right, playing against some scouts. So can we go under a scout deck? Let's get rid of the Demolitionist. So we'll have turn one Saboteur, turn two another Saboteur, and maybe something else. I kind of like Noxion Fervor because of how important it is to kill Misfortune. So I kind of want to keep that. I would like another one drop. You know, so we could triple one drop on turn one and turn two. Really? Potato bringing the fun facts in here. This fun fact, Captain Farron's first name is Ben. Ben Farron? Ben with two N's? Like, Jamie Ben? No one's the wiser. So, Captain Ben Farron. What what name is Ben short for? My Benedict. Prepared for anything. Right, Benedict. Benjamin. Oh yeah, Benjamin. I'll stop you. So Captain Benjamin Farron. Captain Benedict Farron. So we got the other one drop. Wow. Ooh, wow. So no Misfortune, no Grand Plaza. Um, do I double spell with these or play Ballista? I think I double spell. Humanity is obsolete. The main question is open attack or Ballista Where first. That's what I'm not sure about. Open attack or ballista first. I think it's probably just open attack. Oh gosh, or Draven? Alright, so like let's say I play Draven. What's the worst they can do? They play. So the worst thing that could happen is they have the 2 4 um, that makes another thing with the two scouts, and they also have Sharp Sight. That's like the worst thing that could happen for me. Yeah, Island Navigator, Sharp Sight. Alright, so that probably just means open attack. Everything's in place. Behind you. 
Island Navigator would be pretty messy. We are a burn deck, so just getting as much Nexus damage as we can. And this is, pro this is probably the best thing to do. First. Fine. <laughs> Two puff caps. Yeah, we're just fine. Dangerous waters. They did have Island Navigator if I would have developed. But they're at seven. I don't think they have any Nexus healing, so I just do one damage here, four, three damage here, three damage here. I don't think they play single combat either. Wait, I'm probably wrong, right? They probably play single combat. My beautiful face. Oh well. This is our way. You don't think they do? Yeah, I, that's what I couldn't remember if scouts usually play single combat or not. And that should be game. There we go. Oh no, Fjorshen! Fjorshen, best deck. So let's see. Let's try again. All those other cards are fine, but they're very replaceable. Alright, so we have the attack token on turn one. Saboteur does more damage than Teemo on turn one. But if they have Fleet Feather Tracker or Green Glade, Car Green, Ga Green Glade Caretaker, I don't know. Either one of those, they can block the Saboteur, where they can't block the Teemo. So let's do the Teemo. Saboteur can always do one damage, and of course, Teemo getting the Puff Caps in here means that it's more likely they draw Puff Caps if they draw, you know, if they have it right away. See, there we go. Look at that, Teemo does three damage also. Explosives primed. Yeah, never know what hit him. We could go Draven. Let's if I go Draven, I can we can certainly assume how they haven't done anything yet that they're gonna have like Fiora plus Sharp Sight. Or Fiora plus single combat. So is it worth playing Draven? And them have Fiora plus Sharp Sight or Single Combat. Like, maybe not. I long for a worthy opponent. So they're at 13. This can make it 11. Yeah, it was Fiora plus Sharp Sight. I will put oh God. I love to smell like mushrooms in the morning. Ooh, quite a collection. Alright. The party has 
A double sharp sight. Hopefully not another sharp sight. I guess I could have I could have protected against another sharp sight by discarding something else besides the spinning axe, but um, obviously all these things can do like the nexus damage, and they're they're all useful for that. This will be crap. So that will level up Fiora, but we'll still kill Fiora. <laughs> Two down. Mystic shots good against barriers of like shutting down a barrier. By my honor, you must die. Man, they had a good hand <laughs> with double Fiora and, and these different cars they've had. So use cast salesman does let them kill the O1 for free, but I guess that's actually kind of good for me because they're all, th this thing is reset. It's at zero. Yeah, I think I can let them kill an O1. Because they're at zero kills now. I think that's okay for me. If they don't break, they'll burn. I don't think they're gonna be playing like judgment. Alright, like that's not likely. Good. More burn spells is good. Strike at their foundations. Is this supposed to be a challenge? Okay, one to let damage happen. Um, I you know, no lifesteal barrier for them. For the Empire. And there we go. That's it, that's gonna be two and oh. All right, Draven Ezreal, this would be a good matchup for Captain Farron on turn eight. Mulligan a precious pet. Because I could... Mm, yeah, I think we just mulligan it. Don't need, like, static shock. Um, blowing me up, killing two things. House fighter is kind of worst-case scenario. But in that scenario, I just hit him for two anyway. But then, like, like attacking right away. Anything else? <laughs> Flesh was weak, but look at me now. Safety disengaged. What's up, Captain Farron? What's up, Captain? There's the static shock. And I have aftershock for Ezreal. System upgrade. Join me if you want to live. If they pass here, I'm going to pass as well. I would have passed if they passed. So that I would go immediately to getting another. Another ignition. 
Now by using that Demolitionist, obviously Demolitionist is a good blocker. But then not only is it a good blocker, but then it also um, has them use their Mystic Shot on my not Ballistic Bot. So that's good. Yeah, we're an aggro deck, but also I have I'm an aggro deck with Ca I have Captain Farron right now, right? Like Captain Farron's gonna kill them. I have to make sure I don't die before my Captain Farron kills them, and so I I am definitely willing. I don't I don't need to just like throw a ton of Mystic shots at their face. Like it doesn't really matter. Like as long as they don't kill us, this Captain Farron kills them. So like it does. It's not like Mystic shot doesn't really speed up my clock. Like my clock right now is the Captain Farron. The arguable thing there is I, I probably should have, in case they would have killed my Ballistic Bot, I probably should have just used Get Excited to kill their um, Ezreal last turn instead of casting my Ignition and casting the Aftershock. Because if they would have killed this, then I wouldn't have Ignition anymore for the Get Excited. Another day in the field. Armed and ready. So that's what I, I probably sh should have used that get excited before. Because that is that is something I'm worried about is that they just like now bolt my ballistic bot and I don't create ignitions anymore and then this and then also play Ezreal and then my um, get excited is worse. Let's make it deep. I like that draw, that was a good draw for me. Some good blockers. Yeah, that was a very good top deck. So yeah, they had second... Second Captain Farron. Draw some Puff Caps. Go ahead, you know you want to. They don't have any kind of... Nexus healing, right? Right? Like, isn't this... I can just, like, unload here, right? Pretty sure I can just unload. I don't think they can do anything about this. They cannot. There we go. 3-0. So like I said, that's why we Mystic Shotted that 2-2. That two -two. Instead of taking the damage and everything, we play Captain Farron, they lose. We just had to make sure they didn't kill us before that. And there we go, that's Masters. Crazy. We are on... Okay, what kind of streak is this now? It was 20... So 32-1 and one in the last 33 games. Okay, similar deck. Another Ezreal deck. This one with Twisted Fate. Same kind of thing. We want Captain Farron on turn 8. That's going to be the important card. Um, I like Precious Pet, Mystic Shot, Draven. Um, Salesman. I'm not sure, depending on like what we have. Like Salesman's like a good turn 4. So yeah, I'll just kind of keep this. Cool, now I, can, now I have the option between Grenadier or Mystic Shot for turn two. Where do you stand on cold shots? Yeah, we've absolutely been hitting a, a hell of a luck streak here for sure. Yeah, like we're never had, you know, never won 32 out of 33 ranked games <laughs> like in a row. Yeah, we, we're on quite a streak. There's 
is lit. Yeah, I, I hope that they just got like Ezreal or Twisted Fate on this turn one. That they don't get to play. And they're just gonna burn, you know, like an Ezreal, you know, one of their champions or a Riptide Rex or something cool like that. Yep, they're burning something. What are they burning? Something good? Burble fish. Good card. Perfection. I have the best job. System upgrade. All right, so that turns that into a two-three that can block the grenadier. But I'm just fine with that. Something the matter. Matter. This has been going going well for us so far, even though it's been a good hand for them, but still good hand for us too. I'm always up for a round or two. Blue card. Eyes open. So I think I just go like Teemo Salesman attack. Go straight to combat. It's either, you know, like salesman or demolitionist. Um, right now, it is a safe Demolitionist. Alright, so that looks like this is a one-man... So this is probably, like, Thermogenic Beam right here. Yeah, we don't need to kill Twisted Fate right away. Because um, I don't really want them to play another Twisted Fate anyway. Oh, ye been warned? Huh. So I guess I just do this. I mean, they'll still draw the card, but... Um... Or I guess I could, I could Mystic Shot the Twisted Fate, and then no, I probably want the Mystic Shot for upstairs. People are saying no, so yeah, they're gonna pull pull the Twisted Fate, then we Mystic Shot what are you it. you for? Because it's just a Teemo. It's not. I guess I'd keep them from drawing a card. See, should have killed this. Yeah, I should have gone Demolitionist. Let's make it deep. No refunds. This is the upgrade. Got access need Alright, I'm, I'm going with the lines that you know the basically this line with the salesman does like the most damage to them and gets like the most damage on on them. Yeah, like we have all of this. All these kind of burn cards. I'm down to ten. Two. Four. Seven. Eight. Now we're cooking. So I kind of want a whirling death and just level up this Draven. And then save the save the salesman. And now we mystic shot the twisted fate. Currently at four. What's my name? Probably not. Probably don't need to mystic shot yet. They're about to draw a card and go to... Okay, so they're about to draw two cards go to six. Because, like, they're at nine. If I don't, this is three, four, five, six, seven. Like, this is seven direct damage right here. Yeah, because all they need is, like, you know, like a salvage or something like that to level up their Twisted Fate. How scary is that? I think so. I think... We're at 16. It's probably going to take them... I think we're going to have, like, some time. I think it's going to take them some time to kill us with not having a leveled up Twisted Fate. I think we should have a little bit... This should maybe buy us a little bit more time. Don't blink or you miss me. No way! 
kind of like Riptide Rex right now is like the card that I, that's probably should be a card that I'm the most scared of. Demolition Demolitionist does more damage right now, but it, you know, creating ignitions. Also very good. So if I attack, we can kind of assume that they're going to use like like let's say they have you know get excited. They're going to use removal on Draven. Could be better to play these things. The only card, the only reason to not play these things would be like Twisted Fate Gold card. Coming in hot. I think it's good to play these. I think it's better than just attack and let them get excited. My Draven block block my three two and I do one damage. I could also pass here and they just blow all, all three cards that they just drew. I could also just kind of pass. What if I did that? What do you they just drew three for? fleeting cards. I just go pass and create another ignition. <laughs> okay, everybody's saying definitely attack. Let's boogie. Remember the objectives. I'm going to do this. Yes. Watch and learn. Where are you going? See, I should have just passed. I'm sure some of these cards were fleeting. I think I should have passed. I really do. Like, that was definitely their plan. Was just to kill everything. I bet we would have got them with some fleeting cards. So the reason why they're playing that for zero is because it's fleeting, but it counts as a target for Ezreal. But I think Ezreal was already leveled up anyway. Yeah, pass was the right play. Go with the flow. Can you improve perfection? Fire till nothing moves. Well, the thing is, like, if I pass, they had three fleeting cards, right? So if I pass, like, those cards are all gone. And I'm, I'm sure that some number of those cards they just played were fleeting. Like, we know that. So they wouldn't have had all those burn spells. Yeah, I should have just gone with my gut. Everybody in chat was saying just attack, but I don't think the attack was the right play. Oh yeah, chat, chat is usually right. Yeah, they would have just burned a bunch of cards. It, no, it's the odds are exactly that's exactly what they had. How they just how they just passed with the seven mana and didn't play anything to block all of that. That's the odds of that's exactly what they had was just mystic shots and get excited and things like that. They wanted me to you know, like they were gonna play all that after I attacked. Everything's in place behind you. That's you can't do this. That's like exactly what they would have. So ordinary. All right, any burn spell, Mystic Shot, Aftershock, Decimate, Captain Farron. Fervor is going to be a little bit harder to pull off. This game's not over. They, they have removal. They can stop this Fervor. This game, we do not just win.
The more cards they play, they better for me. So now they only have two cards that we don't know about. Because if I let this happen, I'm just letting them draw an additional card and getting them another option. Okay, so basically... If they have something that kills my Demolitionist, we lose any... Like, we're going to lose here to just the, the Elusives right now. So now this forces one of these two cards to be a fast speed deal three. They don't have it. Instead, of, So instead of allowing them to draw an additional card, so now they, they would have three cards. They could be a fast speed deal three. Only to let them have two. Alright, Zoe deck with Shadow Isles. This will be a slower deck, lots of removal. I'll take a one drop, please. Benedict. Benedict Farron. I don't need you on turn one. for them. Alright, if I don't cast Ignition, you know, we can save the extra spell mana for, like, Aftershock and stuff like that. Get excited. I can take down a Zoe. Like, if they open attack. I think I do have to kill Zoe. Okay, I was gonna take the three from the from the traveler. I was just going to take the three. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. War Mason, reporting for duty. The few. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're already in Masters now after 33 and 1 in our last 34. Do I care if the Traveler kills my Demolitionist? Clear it out. Probably not really. I think we can make that attack. Back, heretic. It's basically like we're, tra we're trading our, our two drop for like, you know, like their, you know, three drop with the Priestess, right? Like, because they're just blocking with that. The main question is, do I want to put the Traveler down to one health, or buff this up. I'll buff that up. We'll get get this Draven uh, going. So, basically what we did there is I wasn't going to cast that Fleeting card anyway. So we turned it into being one out of two for the Draven level up, and also uh, we got an additional power on the Ballistic Bot with the Augment. Daylight Star will rule the skies. 
I'm worried about Pill Cascade on the Golden Sister. Won't find better this side of the sun. If I would just aftershock it. cards, they still get to draw one. Let's do this. Definitely see like Eclipse Dragon coming down or something. Believe or burn. I don't think the full attack's worth it. They've had three Solari Priestess. I can't really cast Ignition if I want to have Whirling Death next turn for Captain Farron. I guess I don't need Whirling Death next turn. Can you improve perfection? Join me if you want to live. That's a deal four, deal one. So now they, they can't Pell Cascade and save the Silver Sister, so that's good. Because that Silver Sister... Um, the other thing was scary. So I think they have one more Solari Priestess card. No, never mind. They've no, never mind. I guess they've played all three Solari Priestess cards, haven't they? Because they they played the the four three. Yeah, they played like the the two four threes and the deal deal four deal one and also the Traveler. But so we haven't seen what the Traveler has gotten for them. Spell Thief Me? What do they have? Aftershock? Whoa. They gotta have Hush on that Farron. Yeah, they gotta be hushing the Farron. Or... Back heretic. Yeah, I guess it could be Vengeance. Yeah, I guess it's Vengeance. Until next turn for the salesman. It's a good draw. I guess we can kind of see what's going on with them if they play like enough elusives that I wouldn't want to actually salesman immediately. Down to seven. 
I know they have one of my cards still. I, we're pretty, I'm pretty sure Aftershock. Pretty sure they have an Aftershock from me. Get excited on a Trickster is also just kind of... So, like, this is kind of rough. Like, if, if they have Pill Cascade to go along with the Aftershock... That's what I'm kind of considering. I think... I think we can do this. Because I'll have Decimate first. They they won't be able to play... Now that they've tapped out with, by playing this thing, they won't be able to cast Aftershock. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not going to get excited that... And then they pill cascade after I get excited. So I get to play this before they get to Aftershock. They took a get excited? So close. So close. Alright, just like yesterday. We started 14-0 yesterday and lost our 15th. Started 14-0 today and lost our 15th. We had them at one life. Whenever we died, we had them at one life. One more damage. Obviously, for how that played out, I thought they had Aftershock, they had Get Excited. Obviously, I wish I would have Get Excited one of their 3-3 three, three elusives. Um... Obviously, <laughs> you know, but that's Yeah, that's just how it is It was a great game very close, you know the six the six life that they healed with the four three You know made the difference there and obviously the uh, vengeance they had So yeah, they were a Targon Shadow Isles deck that had um, good Nexus healing and also very good removal and Then yeah, the spell thief grab grabbing the get excited to finish that out. Great game, though. Very close. Very close. So there we go. Burn aggro. I was definitely impressed with how this with how this deck felt. Um, I was very happy with our list. I'm glad we didn't have like like playing like Boom Crew Rookie in these burn burn decks has not worked out for me. I'm glad we didn't have Boom Crew Rookie and instead had, um, you know, because I don't know the Boom Crew can like maybe do two damage, but just always kind of dies and. And, like, I don't think I'd want to play, like, a two-mana just-only-deal two to the Nexus and nothing else. And that's kind of what Boom Crew has been for me. But I, I liked our list here of, like, having, like, Captain Farron at the top end. Um, that card was really good. Having, you know, like, Draven in here going, going along with a lot of these Noxus cards. Like, these Noxus cards were awesome. Um, and, yeah, I think our list was was quite good. So, like, yeah, that, that whole Salesman thing... <clears throat> whole salesman <laughs> you know whether to play salesman or not the last turn that was that was a really difficult last couple of turns there but. all right but there we go that's burn aggro awesome deck if you want to get your aggro on you want to be playing some burn spells uh killing that enemy nexus give this version a try i really liked our list again you know another four one four one is a very very good record that's hard to do um even though uh that's kind of how we've been going these days um, but yeah, so give this one a try. Those of y'all on YouTube, leave those comments. How's this deck? How are the other decks we've been playing recently? Give those decks a try and leave those comments. Like I say, like those comments really help out the channel. So hopefully y'all are leaving those. But that's all I got here for Burn Aggro. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.